You're watching CBS 4 News in high definition. She's a hero. I believe she sacrificed herself to save a lot of other people. Developing right now, police are on the scene of a deadly shooting at a church. Congregation members are shocked by the violence. Good evening, I'm Michelle Totiv. Police are telling us that a gunman opened fire in the parking lot of an Aurora church. The church is located on East Bethany Drive near Parker Road. As CBS 4's Jennifer Bryce explains, one victim was the mother of the church's minister. She lived her life to help people. And in her death, Josephine Eccles' son says that his mother was still helping others. Pastor Delano Stratham was just finishing up Sunday services when... The church will hold a prayer vigil for Eccles this evening at the chapel. Firefighters are investigating the cause of a fire at a southeast Denver apartment building. The fire started early this morning at Kennedy Ridge Apartments near Havana and Dartmouth. Denver firefighters faced heavy smoke and flames. It took crews a couple hours to get the fire under control. Dozens of people evacuated the building, some forced to jump from their balconies. I saw one woman on the far in the front jumping out the window. Um, there was another lady that jumped out of the third floor on the back side of the building um, and they took her away in the ambulance. Um, otherwise, everybody looks like got out safely. Officials did take two people to the hospital for minor injuries. Several residents say they never heard the smoke alarms go off, so crews are investigating that as well. The governor is recommending organizational changes to Colorado's Forest Service following the recent Lower North Fork fire. Investigators determined the deadly wildfire grew out of a prescribed burn set by state foresters. Right now, the Forest Service reports to Colorado State University, but Governor Hickenlooper wants that to change. He wants the Forest Service to report to the Colorado Department of Public Safety. Lawmakers need to approve the changes, but Hickenlooper says it could happen as early as July. The Boulder community is gearing up for President Barack Obama's visit to the University of Colorado campus. Hundreds of people braved the hot weather and long lines to get tickets. But even a long wait couldn't stop excitement about the presidential visit. I think just having the opportunity to see him speak is going to be a big thing for us. I'm excited to see a sitting president speak. I guess the last one to come to see Boulder's campus was Eisenhower, so it's just it's an opportunity that a lot of people don't get. He's expected to talk about his plan to stop interest rates on student loans from doubling in July. The president is scheduled to speak at the university's Coors Event Center tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Hundreds of people gathered at the Capitol to rally for a bill that would allow illegal immigrants in Colorado to go to college at a discounted rate. Undocumented and unafraid. <laughs> Students are applauding a bill that's already passed the Senate. It would allow illegal immigrants who graduate from Colorado high schools to attend college at a rate that's less than out-of-state tuition. The bill is being debated in the House Education Committee right now. Unlike in years past, this year the bill has Republican support. They want to get education. Their future must begin now. We cannot continue to tell these students, get an education, better your lot in life, and then take it away with tuition that very few can afford. You can learn more about the bill using the link on our website at cbsdenver.com. Opening statements began today in the trial of former presidential candidate John Edwards. Edwards is accused of using campaign funds to hide his pregnant mistress during his run for the White House. CBS 4's Dick Brennan reports on what happened in court today. John Edwards had just a quick word for spectators as he arrived at the courthouse with his daughter Kate. How are you doing? I'm okay. Edwards faces six criminal counts accusing him of violating campaign finance laws to conceal his extramarital affair. The trial is expected to last for six weeks. A Florida man accused of shooting and killing an unarmed teenager is out of jail tonight. George Zimmerman walked out of a county jail last Sunday night. He posted a $150,000 bail. Zimmerman got in a car that will take him to an undisclosed location. His whereabout is being kept secret for his safety. Zimmerman is accused of shooting 17-year-old Trayvon Martin and awaits a trial on second-degree murder charges. While waiting, the Neighborhood Watch volunteer must wear a monitoring device, 
obey a dusk-to-dawn curfew, and cannot use a firearm. Denver Bronco Brian Dawkins is calling it quits after 16 years in the NFL. Dawkins played safety on the Broncos for the last three years. He announced his retirement early to, earlier today on his Twitter account. Dawkins was considered a team leader. Members of the team say he'll go down as one of the greatest safeties of all time, a shoo-in for the Hall of Fame. Although injuries became an issue last season, Dawkins says that's not the reason he's retiring. That I could play another year gave me a lot of peace to say that this is it. it sounds crazy, but that's really the way that I, I felt about this. Dawkins and his family will continue living in Denver. People who suffer from vertigo feel like the world is spinning. There's a new spin on how to treat vertigo, who devised the treatment, and how you can do it yourself at home. Grains. Coming up, how new guidelines could provide relief for this severe pain. And the Colorado Mammoth is a hot ticket for fans. Next, meet a girl who gets to take the mascot to her prom. We'll explain why.